today's video about super centenarians. So I want to make uh, my video shorter because my, many people don't have to uh, don't have time to watch it through. But uh, you can download the presentation with uh, this re review of uh, lit literature and read it in details if you want. So both uh, presentation and the video will be available. In today's video about Jean Louis Car uh, Jean Louis uh, Kalman Kalman. Uh, so super uh, centenarians is someone uh, who has reached the age of 110 uh, years, years. This age is achieved by about one in 1,000 centenarians. And only over 1,500 super centenarians have been documented in recent century. The researchers estimate that uh, there should be between 300 and 450 living super centenarians in the world. About 10% uh, of the supercentenarians survive until the last three months of life without major age-related diseases, as compared to only four supercentenarians and uh, semi-supercentenarians that people who lived 115 years, and 3% uh, uh, of uh, the centenarians, people who lived 100 years. So you see that supercentenarians are excep exceptionally uh, healthy people also. It is believed that biological age 120 years uh, is a limit for human longevity. Indeed, in biblical translation of Genesis uh, 6 uh, slash 3, we may read, Then the Lord said, My spirit will not content with humans forever, for, for they are mortal. Their days will be 120 years. Herodotus wrote about microbiomes, uh, the legendary people who drank uh, milk, ate uh, boiled beef and goose meat, and lived in average to be 120 years old. The microbians uh, are known as an ancient tri tribal kingdom positioned in uh, the Horn of Africa in the south of Ethiopia. They were also, according to Herodotus, the tallest and most handsome uh, among all men. So we probably there is some connection between uh, this uh, ancient uh, tribe and Maasai uh, tribe. Maasai men, in average, uh, six uh, uh, three inch, uh, six foot uh, three inch. That is 190 centimeters tall, average. Their diet is very simple. Raw meat, raw milk, and uh, cacao, uh, ca uh, and uh, cow uh, blood, cow blood, fresh uh, cacao, uh, cow blood, cow blood. They live in very simple uh, uh, conditions. Uh, hygiene uh, conditions are very poor, and probably because of this high infant mortality, mortality rate among the Maasai, the average life expectancy is only 45 years, but as the adult people uh, can live uh, 90 years and longer in such conditions. So today we will talk about Jean Louise Kalman. Uh, she was born uh, 1875, died 1997. Uh, she was a French super, ten, super uh, centenarian with a lifespan of 122 years. And uh, the factors which may extend longevity her longevity is good and long sleep at night, 8 hours, 45 minutes, and 2 hours afternoon nap. Regular meditation, it is praying at morning, she was a Catholic Christian, and attending a local Catholic church every day. Regular physical and mental activity, it is cycling and walking, playing piano. Eating boiled beef and fish uh, with a lot of cold pressed olive oil. Banana salads, uh, garlic and cocoa powder, and hot chocolate, as sources of resistant starches and fibers. Flavonoids and uh, senolytics in coffee, uh, garlic and chocolate. And uh, she, was, uh, she ate two pounds of chocolate a week, so almost one kilo. Jean-Louis Kahneman uh, considered, uh, consumed exceptionally high amount of coca, uh, coca, co cocoa powder and chocolate, about two pounds a week. The dry cocoa powder uh, generally contains uh, between 10 and 24 percent of fats that are mostly saturated fat and monounsaturated fat in lesser amounts. 
Some dose response uh, evidence uh, demonstrate that an antioxidant uh, effect and health improvement with approximately half gram of flavonoids derived from co cocoa powder and green tea. Therefore, it is recommended to consume from uh, 38 to 154 gram of cocoa powder and from 1 to 4 cups of brewed tea a day. Why, why it is uh, such a difference? Uh, the c content of flavonoid is different and depends on technology, how, how to make tea or chocolate and so oh, uh, hot chocolate and then so this is the difference. Cocoa uh, the, has such methyl, uh, methyl uh, loxatin a compound uh, that increases oxygen and blood flow in the brain and it's insoluble fi fiber that, uh, uh, which feeds friendly bacteria in the gut and contributes to a healthy microbiome. Eating chocolate made a gene fe feel good and uh, may, uh, may probably help her to stay sharp uh, by warding of uh, neuron de de degeneration up to he her death. Dark chocolate uh, with 70-85% uh, of coca, coca uh, contains an, uh, 11 gram of fiber and fat in, in the form of cocoa butter, which mainly consists of saturated fats and one third of the chocolate uh, fat can, uh, comes from stearic acid. Next, we may see that consuming meat, uh, uh, except, except beef, with um, uh, moderate amounts of fruits, bananas, and large volumes of olive oil, probably was an important factor of her longevity. Bananas are famous as a rich source of potassium, fibers, and resistant starch. So it may be an indication that following the ketogenic diet with red meat as a source of protein, saturated and monounsaturated fats as a source of energy, and large amounts of fibers and resistant starch uh, for microbiome uh, are beneficial for longevity. This, uh, this, uh, we may follow the example, good example of uh, her diet. The only potentially negative factors of foreign gravity that have been mentioned about uh, Jan uh, Kalman uh, are that she was smoking one cigarette after each meal. That is maximum two uh, cigarettes per day and she was getting two meals per day, no snacks uh, between. So you see it is a um, more healthy diet and until the age 117 when she decided to stop and drinking a little bit of port wine after lunch. But considering that other supercentenarians are also drinking some alcohol at evenings, we may speculate that in re uh, reasonable amounts alcohol is good for life extension. Apart from aspirin and against migraines, uh, she had never taken any medicine, and not even herbal teas. Her arterial blood pressure was uh, 140 to 70 millimeters. Her pulse uh, 84 beats per minute and her height uh, was, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> cannot see, 160, 153, or okay, you will check in uh, the presentation. And her weight was 45 degrees, so she never wore a beast. So, following ketogenic diet with two meals a day and mostly uh, uh, beef. Uh, was very healthy, you see. Okay, you will look, so what I will uh, give is a reference to the uh, presentation, so you can read details of your life, it is very, very interesting also, and uh, so you can understand uh, what she was doing and why she d died actually uh, maybe earlier than she, she uh, may. Because at age 110, uh, she moved to a uh, nursery house and then uh, she was uh, limited in uh, physical activity. She didn't attend the uh, church anymore. And uh, of course, uh, she, uh, it, it was very boring to, to, to be uh, surrounded by uh, old people who are dying. And uh, so she actually uh, lived in the nursery house only 12 years. I believe that if uh, she would be, uh, she would live with uh, relatives or herself, she may live even longer. She was uh, cooking for herself and cleaning and uh, was self-sustainable. 
up to her uh, 110 uh, 10th birthday and only some accident with um, fire and uh, very cold weather uh, that created su such conditions that she moved to the nursery house. It, it was actually a mistake, I believe. So you see here, so uh, you see here that uh, uh, some details of the, her wife and uh, you will, uh, can read uh, some reviews and some articles uh, related to consumption of cocoa powder and chocolate. It is very, very healthy. It is very useful as it provides us these uh, fibers and it provides us this uh, saturated and unsaturated fat. So probably we have to follow the, this good example and do the same and consume at least uh, 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 from 30 to 150 gram of uh, cocoa powder and uh, in form of choc hot chocolate or uh, dark uh, chocolate and uh, also drink from uh, at least one uh, cup of tea or uh, maybe more. Okay, so it's again uh, that uh, the uh, f pardon uh, the chocolate is very very good, very uh, good for our health. We, we may uh, follow this uh, example. So you see, uh, this is a little bit different what I'm doing. So you you can I, I will make I make now very short uh, videos, and if you are interested in the details, you can download the presentation and read it for yourself. But the conclusions is uh, again that uh, so easy that what helped her, I, I believe so, that uh, first it was uh, the uh, ketogenic diet with uh, most of the energy she was getting from saturated and unsaturated fat and uh, olive oil is, uh, was uh, also a source of unsaturated fat, it is very very healthy but uh, nowadays uh, fake uh, olive oil is, um, uh, is very common so I cannot recommend uh, you to consume uh, olive oil from grocery shop, grocery store uh, instead, for example, in Thailand it is uh, almost impossible to get good quality olive oil, so, but coconut oil is available uh, as a replacement. And also uh, red meat, red meat is very useful for, uh, as a source of proteins. Red meat and probably uh, the beef towel. So next, uh, that she was meditating every, every day uh, at morning and she was attending a church, uh, a Catholic church. And uh, also she was sleeping uh, a lot, uh, 8 hours, 45 minutes at night and uh, 2 hours at, at daytime. So if you can, please mind uh, to sleep longer. Uh, if you cannot uh, sleep uh, without uh, drugs, okay, take uh, melatonin, melatonin or 5-HTP, very helpful. And also it looks so that uh, drinking wine, a little bit of wine or some alcohol, li in, in limited amounts of course, but before uh, night it, it may help, it may help to keep you healthy. So that's all, I'm, I, uh, all, all what I want to say in this video, please. Uh, make likes and um, put likes and uh, spread information and uh, subscribe. I believe this information is important. Okay, have a wonderful day.